Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Distant Worlds Honorverse, <laughs> episode number three. So in the last episode we kind of set up our system. The good news is we did get through a lot of the designs which are a little bit less, I think, a little bit less interesting to spend time on, but far be it from me to ignore my OCD min-max tendencies, so I did want to create all those myself. So now we have uh, the private ships that we're going to need and also the private bases, so this is good. Minus the one gas luxury which you know, maybe I'll just design that off camera at the end of this episode or something, but we shouldn't need it right away because this is not a high enough priority to warrant a construction ship. Our construction ships in the very beginning, if we had, uh, what, what, I forget, I even forget what our home planet produces. Oh my gosh, a lot. Hold on one second, I have to sneeze. <coughs> Could start to an episode, huh? Anyways, it seems, it seems here we have lead, chromium, polymer, carbon fiber and necrostone quite a bit the only thing i see that we're missing for sure is silicon and i don't know if that's going to be oh a desert planet you say i might even just preemptively send our second construction ship over there <clears throat> no 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 the construction ship is going to build where are you going to build oh you're oh my god no divert so he started already building his, I wanted him to have a construction ship lined up. I mean, a, a mining station lined up to build. I didn't actually want him to build a mining station there though. So what we're gonna need is this guy, Pronto, to go down here and tell me what this planet Kiadia 4 has. I'm gonna have this guy just move to this planet, have him chill here. I hope that he hasn't started building that thing yet. It doesn't doesn't seem like it had but maybe my canceling it removed the components from his cargo bay but in, it, it didn't actually um, refund them All right now we need this guy you're supposed to be what are you doing besides it's disobeying my orders oh we're on point two five okay uh, that makes a little more sense it's like, wow, he's just not responding. I feel like I'm back into com uh, command ops where there's a order delay or something. Anyway, uh, we want this guy to explore this runes. He should be very close to doing so. So close. Let's speed this up a bit. There it is, finally, Hidden Temple. And we know what we're going to find here. We'll investigate the runes, but there it is, Warp Field Precursors. So we'll go to this event location. Now this guy, he can't explore this system, Kiadia. If we do that, it's gonna say that there's already a person doing it. But we can just do explore all systems in D4 and he'll start with the closest um, unexplored stuff. Oh, actually we have a great planet here for some hydrogen gas. But did we already send our construction ship over? This guy's retiring. Where are our two construction ships? We have one guy going up here. He's going to, yeah, we have Tadirios and Helium over there. Let's maybe just get just a third construction ship. Um, I find that we're going to need three anyway eventually. And I think it... I mean, this is such a good planet for refueling. It's probably just going to be good for us to get that up. Even before... So let me hotkey these things correctly. So we can quickly access one and two. Very good. Go to the planet construction yard, new constructor. So it'd be really nice if we could get a construction ship to build a gas refueling station over there before hyperdrive technology. And this guy, he's now be, yeah, he'll explore the rest of the system. That's perfectly fine. Start with this planet. We already have that one. Buddy, what are you doing? Anyway, uh, this guy's just hanging out on Kiadia 4, waiting to see if there's uh, reasonable resources for him to build there. Construction ships going up there. We found that there's not really anything over there. Not think nothing useful there. Okay, these guys both might be going for. Look at you. Just go here. I'm gonna command these guys a little bit on my own. You go up here because this guy will get those two. I should have just done this myself. It's much more efficient if you control them yourself. Definitely. Now it looks like this guy's just completed. I know what I want him to do. I really want you to build a refueling station here. So get me a gas station on that planet. 
ASAP. Still waiting for our exploration ship to come over and tell us if Kiadi 4 has anything interesting. Okay. A little bit unknown. Okay, there we go. Whoa. Osalia Silicon, which is the one I wanted, and Nataran Incense. Okay, well, it's kind of good that we didn't send anybody over to that planet because what we're going to have to do is send a mining, an ore luxury over there. So where did I send him? I sent him down, right? Good. Just try to keep an eye on these three guys. Whoops. These three guys. Okay, we did it. Oh my gosh, I haven't even taken a look at our leaders yet. So, is this something useful? Gold and lead. Well... Well... I'm not so sure. It's hard to say. That's... I mean, gold and lead, okay, let's just do the, the percentage check. It is 130%, 138, almost 140%. So you know what, it's in the home system. Let's just do it. Sorry. Build um, the ore station. I think you already have the components for it. Just build that in Kiadia 4. I think he has the components for it. Yeah, it looks like he is. He's just going to stop in there. He's doing his thing. It's good. This guy's done. Okay, now let's, because I'm not going to be able to micromanage these guys fast enough, let's get this guy to do that. And you explore this system. And you. Oh, okay, good. We've completed research on this. Let's not waste any time on shields quite yet. We'll go to warp field precursors and come back to shields afterwards. We may even want to do some things besides shields after that, but because military is generally not my focus in the very, very beginning, but I'm going to try to make that. Um, the mentality I have is to avoid doing military construction for as long as possible, because this is like a min-max thing. We're saving our budget until the time we absolutely need it. However, that's not really the way to roleplay this situation, I think. The Kingdom of Manticore, which we are, would definitely get, um, they would definitely get some military ships earlier. So we'll probably get some as soon as we have warp drive. Now, do I have anybody? Yeah, all our construction ships are working. Okay, you've completed your mission, but I want you to explore. Yeah, this should, I think that's, so they're all going off in different directions. That's good to see. I probably should be examining the plants that, okay, so this one has necrostone and chromium. Just keep track of all these planets. This one has a lot of good stuff. We should get, as soon as we have one construction ship free up, we will do that. How's Warpfield Precursors going? 2% already, not bad. Armor plating, and we have plenty of stuff in queue for that. Haven't gotten entertainment and medical system. That'll be our first station upgrade. Okay, you completed your mission. That's wonderful. Go ahead and Run it back. Let's get a or luxury station over here. Uh, the thing I really like about this planet, uh, this is that the planet is headed towards us and Manticore. They're both going in the same direction. So that means that they will probably overlap at about the time he finishes. So it's really not a waste of time at all to send him off to do that, which is really, really good. Let's get this guy to go home because I'm not sure where we're going to want him. He may just. Uh, sit tight until we have um, hyperdrive technology. In fact, we can get him to refuel. Well, at Mentor Spaceport, that's what I wanted to do, even though I had to, I couldn't actually individually select it. All right, so we have an improved research, a uh, research bonus in improved assault tactics. Well, you couldn't ask for a much more, a much less useful one. I will eventually get this, but it's not immediately useful for me. I make my ground assault troops like really late. So mm, that's okay. It's still something. So we are getting the, this is the exact opposite of the situation. This is kind of bad. Our planet is moving. Well, actually they're moving closer because this orbit of this one will take less time. Okay, we've got entertainment systems. We just need medical and then we'll upgrade our station.
But things are happening finally. We're zipping around the system. Have our three diamonds over here exploring the system. They're probably going off to asteroids already. Wow. Very nice. We got a breakthrough in medical systems. I mean, I would way prefer that on warp field precursors, but anything helps. And the high tech research is also, I mean, I would consider it the second most important behind energy. So that's really nice. You can see that one jumping up already 20%. We just sit back and uh, watch our fledgling empire begin its first interspace travels. I mean, this is kind of cool because the lore of Distant Worlds and the lore of Honorverse kind of overlap a little bit. In Distant Worlds, when you play like this, especially if you play with the storyline enabled, your civilization is returning to space from a dark age. And that's kind of the, what happens in the Honorverse, that these guys went really slowly through space to settle on different planets. And now um, a new, like the hyperdrive, I guess you can call it that, the hyperdrive technology is invented after the various places arrive, the various um, colony ships arrive at their places. So very good. We do have somebody who's completed their mission. So that probably means that we're done exploring this system. Yeah. I'm gonna get this guy to come home. That means that there's no point Let's refuel at Manticore Space Station. There's no point in having any of these guys out then, although they will continue to try to explore D4. If I wanted to check their trajectory, it would be out of system. They'll start moving to like this nearest system, which is not, I don't actually want them to try to do that. Not until we have hyperdrive. So let's get all these guys to just go ahead and sit at the Manticore spaceport where they can refuel and wait a retrofit to hyperdrive. And it looks like our construction ship has just arrived back. He has refueled already. So is there like a close place we can go and snag a, a mining port or something? We already have somebody queued here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I mean, there it is, already queued. Oh, they're already, they, yeah, they're already en route. I was wondering what, where that guy was. What do we have here? Oh my gosh, Osalia, polymer, carbon fiber. We, we are really going to be in good shape for some of the resources, which I'm, I'm usually a little nervous about. Specifically like, um, what is this one? The polymer, carbon fiber, those are two that you, you can definitely run low on. And now we have steel and iridium. Let's take a look at what we already have supplied for us. So right now, our empire resource locations include lead at, oh, that's not popping up for you guys. I, I can't figure out why this is, I have to remember this, but I'm just gonna say it out loud. So this is lead 68, chromium 26, polymer 27, carbon fiber 23, and necrostone 28. I'll have to go and fiddle with the options menu, see if I can pick up the layers Although I thought I was doing pure monitor capture, so I have no idea why that would not be picking up for you. But anyway, we, we don't have here is steel. I don't think we have chromium either. No, we do, 26%, that was the second one I mentioned. We also have Tiderios and helium, okay, we got that one. We have gold and lead. Yeah, we don't have a source of steel, which is actually a really important one. You can see here, no steel. So yeah, I, I guess we're gonna have to build on this one, which is called Onse Poop. That's a terrible name, but fine, whatever. Who, whoever named it that, I can't even think of like a more elegant way of pronouncing that, which just doesn't sound silly. All right, Onsi Poop, let's get you to have, this one's refueling, you're done though. Let's give you a construction station. I mean, uh, an ore mining station. Okay, there you go, fine. Do with that what you will. There's medical research, fantastic. Okay, so we'll start doing the upgraded fuel, which is perfect. Hopefully we can get that done. I may even try to rush that. No, it looks like it'll finish well before um, our hyperdrive technology. But at this point, we can do an upgrade, our first upgrade, 
to home port. Auto upgrade and edit. I don't know if the auto upgrade did anything, but it gives us the Mark II name very nice and easily. And now all I want to do is add... Here we go, medical and recreation. So these two things, when they orbit, when you have a, it's orbiting the planet. Wow, why did I hit cancel? That was silly. Are gonna improve the happiness of the people below. So let's save that, close, and now we can get this guy to retrofit to home port mark two, perfect. And it should take almost no time at all. There it is, it's already done. Okay, all our, all our exploration ships are arriving back on the planet. They're ready for retrofit. We don't have any mission for them, but might as well just leave them static. Just staying still, because there's no reason for us to... Oh wow, increasing population growth, that's fantastic. I mean, the biggest thing you need is population growth in the beginning. How's our planet doing right now? Um, we're up to 8 billion. So that's not bad. Okay, armor plating. I'm not so worried about that one. Oh, we actually have two groups here. I might disband this second group. I'm going to disband these guys. They're just going to hurt our bottom line. You can see that jumped immediately up from negative 8.7 to um, negative 7.7. .7. They cost a thousand. And I probably should have done that immediately. I didn't even check the planet. I like to have one garrison, but two is, especially because later, the ones that you, the troops you get are better quality the later you build them. So you probably retire the old ones anyway. Ah, did this guy finish yet? I remember now. Still building it. Wow, that was like perfect timing. So go over here and repair that ship. Part of the reason I'm going to have you do this is because our planet should slowly catch up with it, decreasing the total distance back, but that's also something we wanted to get done anyway. Okay, you're done. That's really good. Why don't you go ahead and head home? Still have plenty of time, probably more than enough time to go and build another thing, even with this guy. And we may, it, we may soon have to actually turn up. Oh, you know what? As soon as this is done, do we have something else queued? Let me just grab anything. No, we don't. Okay, this is actually really good. Let's choose not this, but transport systems. Yeah, we can get this and that will allow us to build resorts, which are always a nice little money maker. After that, we might go into Wonder Pursuit. There's a lot of good wonders that we'd like to pick up before any of the other empires. I don't think the have in life is important to do right away. Of course, colonization would be amazing, but maybe we should try to get... Okay, what is it? Energy research is the second one. No, no, no. High tech is the first one, and weapons is the second, and energy is the third. Okay. Yeah, it might be worth it to try to grab enhanced research so we can build the Rusin technology. Um, plus 50% to high tech. It's going to enable us to get colonization just so much faster. And then we can just start blowing through these things. I think let's do that. Of course, maintenance saving is always good. Uh, it's tough to say. Well, our population should continue to go up, which should allow us to do research at a faster and faster pace. Let's see how we're doing here. Our potential is 336, and if we add these up, it should be 180 times 3, 540. So we're doing really good. We have plenty, plenty of potential left over. <laughs> yeah, and actually we get this ongoing bear bonus, I forgot, yeah, from repairing that ship. So it's good to do that um, immediately. Everything kind of snowballs in these uh, 4X games. But now we just play the waiting game. Okay. Um, 
Oh, wow. I was going to say, let's just kind of see what planets we have around here. Oh, my gosh. This has hydrogen and Castellon at a huge rate. 77 and 62. It, it's actually better. Okay, it's more Castellon on this one, 77 versus 71, but 62 of hydrogen. And then on top of that, it has argon and krypton at above 50%. That is, that is really, really an amazing place. We will definitely... In fact, I'll probably just task this guy immediately. We're at 36%. I think we have time. Definitely get a gas mining station over there as soon as you can. Actually, what we'll have him do is refuel first. Okay, he's refueling at the research station. I don't like that. I wish he was refueling at the... Let's see if I can grab the spaceport. Nope. Well, I could have him refuel at the planet. That's fine, too. Because the planet should share its resources basically instantly with the space station. So that's okay. But after he's done with that, let's see if we can queue up the next mission. So refuel and then go over here. The cool thing about the repair process with the construction ships, well, it, it can be a bad thing. But in this case, it's going to work out well for us. Is The ship actually st detaches from its orbit and remains exactly in place. You can see it is not moving as the planet moves away. So that is going to help us this time since the planet Manticore is actually moving towards our construction ship. So we've halted the orbit, which essentially means we're drifting towards Manticore. Okay, you're going to build that. Very good. So that I was really, that is an amazing, amazing planet. I'm still happy to get a mining station here. Oh my gosh, 100% Asalia. What is going on with my home system? Aculon, Necroson, okay, well, we we want a construction ship here as well. All right, well, I don't know if you'll have time. 45, let's just have you go, let's have you move over here. It's gonna take you quite a long, long time to get over there. You'll probably wait for Hyperdrive, and then you'll zip over to get, was it this planet? Yeah, SDAO. You'll zip over and get SDAO a mining station, but you'll do that with Hyperdrive. I think it'll be faster for you. Oh, well that's gonna drop a storage station back. I didn't see what it was at, but it probably was like 60%, and now it's dropped back down to 31. But we really need storage station before we get Hyperdrive. I don't care about getting resorts before Hyperdrive. In fact, I think it's better if the construction ships go to build resorts with hyperdrives already attached. Um, it makes the whole process a lot faster. I haven't even been paying attention. Do we have resort locations? Only one with a scenic bonus. Oh, I didn't even see this. This is another great planet. Aculon and, oh, some kind of luxury resource. So I will be building resorts separate from mining stations. I'm not gonna do the ultimate min-max efficiency thing, which um, if you want, you can build resorts that have the mining equipment to mine the stations, um, to mine the planet. And then you only have one building, which serves two functions. Now, this is always better, right? It's always better to... You're, think, you can think about it this way. You're minimizing the number of command centers, modules you have to build, um, stuff like that. So our leader is just killing it on population growth, which I'm very happy to see. We're up to 10 billion now, just past the 10 billion. Um, fireworks are going off. We're celebrating... 10 billion people on the planet or maybe people are just really skeptical about uh, overpopulating the planet I'm not sure from a tax perspective we're, we're thrilled <laughs> looks like I led by a little too much with this guy but we definitely won't be sending him out How's the repairs going here? 10 components left damage. I think they only drop one at a time, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So that's still a little while. Just the waiting game, and our money's just about to dry up. Let's just preempt the money dry up by, go ahead and let's just tax it. We just need such a smallest, just the smallest little influx of cash. Let's go to 10%. 
It probably won't kick in until we're negative in money, but that's okay. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe I did change it just in time. 578, so it dropped negative again, but the next one I think will be positive, so I think we made it without going negative. There it is, up to 3,000 already, very good. Just a couple more months of that, and then we, should, we shouldn't need any more. Look at that, there's some whew, massive growth. Okay, let's once again reduce it. Should be enough. Our little spurt of taxation. That was to cover all the costs of passing 10 billion people and celebrating. All right, you made it here, but that was my mistake. You actually should just go refuel. And I really wish you guys would use not the research station, but whatever. Labor oriented, okay, I'm not sure. What does this guy do? Okay, so here we have our leader, our characters, by the way, I've been, so we've had this guy, what am I doing? Get over to the, my God. <laughs> you shouldn't wait until episode three. You should be doing this like the very first thing you do when you open your um, empire up. Right at the same time you're doing zero taxation, you should be looking at your characters. I forgot to do this because I didn't do it on the tutorial. It's a low priority, but this guy is just an insane, an insane scientist. One of the best I've ever seen. Just amazing benefits he could be giving us, and I didn't have him located on a station. Once he gets to that station, he's going to help. Oh my gosh, why did it take us so long? Uh, it's uh, really, really unfortunate, but that's okay. So here's our leader. Population growth is big. A military shoot, construction speed all down. That's obviously bad. Colony happiness, not that important. Colony income and colony and population growth, I would say, outweigh his negatives. But now he has labor-oriented, which gives... Oh, is not good. It's good only in 10% colony income. So this would only be good as like an end game governor, but the minus 10% population growth is horrible. Yeah, so basically he got minus 10 here, minus 10 here for plus 10 here. Um, that The population growth is not going to affect us for much longer because as soon as we reach max population, population growth is completely insignificant. That's when calling this happiness will actually take an effect. Um, although you'll be making 10% more money, you can only raise taxes high enough to make your people not happy. Well, that's the way I do it. So, kind of that labor-oriented is bad. Bad, like, oh, I would say just overall bad. Okay, we completed that just in time. That's very good. And we are just blowing through those research, uh, the weapons research. Okay, you're now sitting ready you'll wait the last 20 25 percent of research for our hyperdrives now we finally um we're finished repairing the ship so let's investigate it okay oh this is very interesting we found detailed maps of four nearby systems i kind of i, I feel the same way as larry monty does about this i always prefer to explore them myself but let's see what this did. Okay, so we see Pontu, Algara, SC233, and Delonxia. De Delonitsa. Delonixa. Yeah, Delonixa. Okay. So those are the four systems closest to us. We have them explored. It looks like this one has Tiderios and Torellian Downs. That's exactly what we already have on this other planet up here, I think. Hyderios and Trillion Downs. Oh, this one's 32 and 45. Let's just take a look. What does this one have it at? One single planet. 55 and 20. Okay, so really insignificant. I think 55 and 20 might actually be worse. Because I think the Tiderios is less important. Don't we have another source of Tiderios? Yeah. So we'll only be using this for the Trillion Downs, and 45% is sufficient. Both of those are kind of really mediocre um, spots for a mining station at all. So make that a low priority. Nothing here. This is these the letter, letter, number, number, number. Those are always the stars that don't really have anything. 
Oh, good. We have plenty of stuff here with conium. We don't think we have that yet. We could always use more silicon. Krypton. What do we have here? Oh, this is a... This looks like a really... Wow, it is a heavily planeted, heavily bodied system. Oh, another hydrogen castle source. Well, that's nice. So we can have another refueling station here, a little bit closer to all the areas we're going to have to explore. This is kind of interesting. Before you even have hyperdrive technology, you know where your construction ships are going to go. That's very un unusual, very rare. Usually you have to explore first, but our construction ships can actually go out with the first wave of hyperdrives. We're going to wait for um, this construction ship to finish their mission because we actually still get the advanced tech bonus until the next tick. So now we can see that we're getting a huge bonus because we actually put a scientist where he should be and we get this 5% bonus for uh, oh this is 5% energy research for some tarred incense that's very good and then ongoing bonus for repairing the dreadful justice so let's just let them keep repairing until that bonus I mean until we can't get that bonus any further and there it is it's done so return over here and we will also be retiring this other ship. Even though it's a cruiser, it has pretty good firepower. You know, there's something to be said about keeping it around. But I would prefer to have access to one of these potential technologies. And that Shadow Ghost ECM is the special one we will be able to use, which is great. All right, well, 31 minutes in. I think this is a good place to call things to a close. Basically, we're I mean, if I just let it run a little bit longer while I'm talking here, we're getting very close to finishing up uh, our research. Looks like we even got a bigger investment of money somehow. Uh, this guy's finished his mission, so let's send that ship home as well. Okay, they're going to go to the wrong one, so let's just have them move to the planet. That's fine. Yeah, so uh, right at the start of the next episode, we'll probably have to design some more ships, but that's kind of fun to put hyperdrives. Well, it's fun and not fun. Actually, if anybody has a comment one way or another, if you'd prefer not to see me upgrading the civilian ships, um, I can I can just choose to omit it. But there's also the glory of a YouTube video that you can just click ahead in the in the time stamp in the time bar. So you can always fast forward yourself manually, but. If anybody, if there seems to be a lot of objections, I'll do that off camera. But as of right now, I'm planning to show all the retrofits. Oh god, another pirate empire. That's just what I needed. But I'll show all the retrofits for Hyperdrive on camera. Anyways, it's going to call this video to a close. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you for the next one.